Hi everyone, you're watching WFN Green. I'm your host, Emmanuel Bellavo. In studio today, we have Queen's University professor, Dr. Bruce Tufts. Bruce, thanks for being here. Thanks for having me. Good to have you again. Now, we've come a long way on the issue of catch and release, but I understand there's some issues out there right now. There's been a lot of good science done that's helped resolve a lot of the questions associated with catch and release. Uh, interestingly, however, there's still a few important questions out there. Well, what are some of those pressing issues? I think probably one of the most important questions these days is, that we're trying to figure out is what happens to a fish when it's brought up from depth. We know that some species uh, experience physiological consequences from coming up from depth uh, in many ways similar to what happens to humans if they surface too quickly after diving. Uh, there's a, a condition similar to the bends that humans get that fish get when they can when they're brought up to the surface too quickly. And I understand there's some controversy around fizzing. What exactly is fizzing? Yeah, fizzing, fizzing is jargon that explains a practice that's used by some anglers uh, to try and alleviate some of the consequences of coming up from depth. When a fish, uh, certain species are brought up to the surface from significant depths, uh, they go on, undergo a number of changes. One of the big changes is that the swim bladder expands because of the change in pressure. Mm -hmm. Uh, so in some cases, this doesn't allow the fish to get back down if the fish is being released right away, or it doesn't allow the fish to maintain proper position in a live well if it's a fish that's been caught by a tournament angler. So fizzing is actually a practice that some anglers use to uh, put a needle into the swim bladder and actually let some of that extra air out uh, from the bloated swim bladder, and this allows the fish to get back down to the bottom if it's being released at the side of the boat, or if it's an angling situation associated with a tournament, then it allows the fish to maintain proper position in the live well. So what's the controversy here? I mean, not every angler probably knows where to put the hole in or when to put it in. Exactly, and that's, and that's the controversy. On the one hand, we've got anglers who have been out there doing this for a long time, and they would uh, advocate that this is a great practice and it's a good way to uh, help the fish get down in, in a situation where it's released at the side of the boat or keep it in good condition in a tournament. But then on the other side, you've got managers and some biologists that are pretty concerned about everybody out there thinking that, that sticking their own needles into the side of a fish is a good idea. With so many people talking about the issue right now, isn't there funding to, to look into this issue, to research it further? You'd think with such a high profile issue that it would actually be easy to get the science done to address the question, but unfortunately we need the proper funding and proper funding even to address some of these big questions is not always easy to find. Well, I hope we can find the research and the funding to provide for the research for this project. Bruce, thanks so much for being here. I really appreciate it. To learn more about the issues and controversies surrounding decompression and fizzing, check out WFN Green online at wfn.tv green.